Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. I am really excited to get to teach you about a fabulous free extension for Safari on the Mac and iOS called Keyword Search. Keyword Search will make searching sites you visit often much easier and more efficient. Let's first spend a few minutes going through how normal searches work in a web browser, and then I'll give you a couple of little tricks I use to make it easier. This will give us the foundation for how keyword search will be so much more efficient. Let's dig right in. We're all really good at searching the internet by now, whether you use Google as your search engine or use another tool. Let's do a simple search for Audio Hijack. When I search for Audio Hijack, I get all of these great results at Rogue Amoeba. But what if I wanted to find a search result not at Rogue Amoeba, but on another site, such as podfeet.com? Let me go over here to my website, podfeet.com. When I come here, I have to figure out where the search is. If you look way over on the right, you'll see a little magnifying glass. I can tap on that, and now I can search for Audio Hijack. And in a couple of seconds, you're going to see that you're going to get results specifically at podfeet.com. Let's go back here. Now, what if I wanted to find the Audio Hijack tutorial I did on Screencast Online? I have Screencast Online open here, and I look over to the right and I don't have a magnifying glass because there's a different way to search. It's over here under Search for Tutorials. So now I can search for Audio Hijack, and you can see the tutorial on Audio Hijack 4. All right, let's go back. What if I wanted to find out whether there's anything about Audio Hijack on iMore? When I go over to iMore, I don't have the magnifying glass and I don't have something that says search tutorials. Way down here in the middle and on the left hand side, now I can search iMore. And I'll do a search there. There's a few results, nothing terribly recent, but this shows you how different sites have completely different ways of searching them. I'm going to give you first a little tip you can use right away, and then we'll get into an even cooler way to do this. When you go into any search engine, you can search specifically on a website by adding the words site colon and then the website. If I put in podfeet.com, you'll see there's the Audio Hijack link, and that takes me to podfeet.com where I reviewed Audio Hijack 4. I'll go back and let's change this to screencastonline.com. Now you can see I can find tags for Audio Hijack that's been found at Screencast Online. And again, there's the Audio Hijack 4 tutorial specifically on Screencast Online. Now you'll notice the way I'm doing this, I don't have to go to podfeet.com and figure out where that magnifying glass is or go to Screencast Online and find the word search. I can also do this with iMore. And let me show you another trick. It doesn't have to be at the end. I can do it at the beginning. Site colon iMore.com and I'll search for Audio Hijack, and we see several different hits on iMore for Audio Hijack. Now that's a quick trick that you can do with all different kinds of search engines. This isn't specific to Google. I wanna show you another interesting search trick. Let's go to podfeed.com, and I'd like to show you that the URL bar in Safari is also a search bar. Whatever your search engine is set to, this URL bar will also work for search. So if I just tap up here, I could use it to search, say, Screencast Online. Let's go with Audio Hijack again. When I hit Enter, I'm doing the search on Screencast Online, even though I was sitting over at podfeet.com. This works on every website, and it's really, really handy. If you use Command-L to enter the search bar, you can jump right to it and start searching anytime you want. So I hope this shows you that there's a much easier way to search inside all websites than trying to figure out where they've put search. Let's go back over to my search engine tab, and I do want to point out that there is a difference in the way these search results come up. Right now, our search results, even though we're asking for Screencast Online, are still in Google's search engine. If I had done the search directly inside Screencast Online, I would have been inside Screencast Online when I got the answer to my search. That is an important distinction and it's one of the problems I'm going to solve with the tool I'm going to teach you to use today. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week. 
as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.